Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 7th of 2020, well it is titled Mercury's Sodium Tail. So what do we see here? Well, the image, the bright object at the center is the planet Mercury, which is the closest planet to the sun and probably the hardest of the five planets known to the ancients to be able to see. And that is because it is so close to the sun and it's never seen uh, very far away from the sun. So the best times to find it are when it is visible uh, just before sunrise or just after sunset. Uh, but it's not visible for a very long time any of those so you're usually still seeing it within the twilight uh, time. Now here we're looking at the trail stretching back towards the upper right and that is a trail of a tail of sodium. So the sodium is because mercury does have a very thin atmosphere. We sometimes think of it as not having an atmosphere, but it does have a very a thin atmosphere of some lighter elements and one of it the elements there is sodium. Now sodium like other elements will grow will, will glow when excited by the sun. So sunlight causes them to glow and pushes them away and we get a yellowish distinct glow from sodium. So other each element will give its own distinctive patterns of colors. Uh, red is the primary glow that we see for hydrogen. Oxygen atoms give off a green that we see as aurora. And sodium gives off a distinct yellow light. So this is something that is seen here. This was taken uh, back at the end of May. And we can see a little bit of it. Now this was something that was predicted back in the 1980s to that it would exist, but was not actually discovered until 2001 where it was first detected. And here is another image of that that was taken this current year. Now typically we associate things like this with a comet so it almost looks like the image of a comet that we see but this is actually the a planet so a planet can leave material behind just as a comet does and in a way the process is the same uh, the material in this case comes from the atmosphere of mercury and then is pushed back by this the sun and at material from a comet is also vaporized into an atmosphere around the comet and pushed backwards away by the sun so a very similar process the difference is that it does not come from the surface of the uh, planet but this is material in the very diffuse atmosphere of Mercury that is being pushed backwards by the sun. So while this may look like a comet, it is actually the nearest planet to the sun, Mercury, with a sodium tail stretching back behind. So that was our picture of the day for July the 7th of 2020. It was titled Mercury's Sodium Tail. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.